I do like myself a good management sim, uh, whether it be the smaller scale managing a drugs company like you would get in Big Pharma, managing a hospital as in Theme Hospital or Two Point Hospital or the larger scale ones such as your cities and sim, uh, city skylines and uh, Sim City um, and Theme Park, those sorts of games. I, I do like them. What I found though is the the titles that try and go bigger and bigger and bigger um, often struggle the more or get harder as well the, the more there is to do. So City Skylines I think is an absolute brilliant game but becomes so much to think about as you're playing. Um, but recently there's been a little bit of an influx of games that have tried to do it on a smaller scale. Um, mainly based around travel. Um, both Station Flow and Overcrowd do this really well with train stations. Um, both absolutely fantastic games, and you can check out links for them um, just above. Yeah, there's another game that's just come out called Airport CEO that you're looking at now. And that's another interesting one. It's kind of midway. It's got the... Um, the smaller scale graphics, it's all 2D based. Um, it's a, just a simple top down view. And again, it's based around travel. Um, and it's in um, early access at the moment. And the version you were looking at is an early access version. Um, as you see, I'm struggling around learning the ropes. But what, what you've got here is a really interesting concept where you build out a small runway and then expand it and expand it and expand it. Um, and yeah, it's a, just a really interesting game. It looks complicated early on. And the first time I booted it, I looked into it and went, oh God, this is going to be horrible um, for me to get my head around. But I mean, it's got a really good tutorial system on the whole. Um, this pop-up mobile phone comes and it kind of explains what you should be doing, guides you around what you should be pressing as you learn the different tabs um, of information that there are, how you turn things on, how you get things running. You can, you know, change your, when the airport opens, when it closes, whether flights are still allowed, you know, whether it's just private planes, public um, commercial flights, those sorts of things. Um, and it just works well. Um, you're given a top-down grid, I suppose, in where to build things. And I'm not going to lie, it took me a few opportunities to realise how that exactly worked. It's not quite the cleanest interface there um, with feedback. And I had things put in, the, not the wrong position, but positions where I had to then sort of really think about, ah, oh, bugger, I've got to change this. I've got to get rid of this. This is going to lose time, that sort of thing. But overall... It's actually a friendly game in terms of allowing you to rectify mistakes. Um, I've played other games in the genre where a mistake will ruin you or it'll take so long to fix. Whereas this is actually quite friendly in terms of, yeah, you know, we understand you need to fix this, so go ahead and fix it. Um, the work's done real time in a way, in inverted commas. So you'll see workers coming from um, their their building where they're all sitting around, and they'll they'll come out and they'll start doing work on what you've asked them to build or knock down or or upgrade and, and those sort of things. And you see them toiling away as your as your squares go from like grey to whatever it is you've built. Um, it's a nice little touch. Works really well. Um. And the animations of planes coming in and out works again, works really, really well. It's it's um, good visual feedback with things like that. Um, when the game goes tonight, I think it's got it looks pretty. Two um, D graphics make you feel like it's simplistic, but it does get in depth. It it really does get in depth. So you have to handle contracts. Um, so. Early on, you're given, like, with your workers, like, your, your, your people who build stuff, you will need to sign a contract with a company, and that lasts X amount of time, and that gives you X amount of workers. Um, but later on, if you're working on bigger contracts, you might need to get a bigger company, but it costs more money, um, and those sort of things. 
you have to take into consideration the reputation, um, what flights you can sign contracts with the type of flights you want coming in. You need to manage all of that as well. Um, and my main fear was this was going to get overwhelming. Again, like it happens with other games. And when I get overwhelmed by a game, I start to not lose interest, but I get frustrated with myself to start to look at myself and go, you're stupid, Brad, you're stupid. Uh, why can't you get this? Other people can get this. Why can't you get this? You've got, you should be better at this game. Um, and that's something that I, ha I have to deal with. But with this, it felt like even as it got more complicated, everything was well laid out. You understood what it was. Um, it uses bright colours. Um, something you do with children where you use quite simple bright colours for teaching them certain things early on, allowing them that recognition. Um, and it's often got to be so why more things in adult life don't do. Why all of a sudden everything's got to be not dreary, but got to be so serious and, and things like that. I'm not on about like, oh, let's start using Comic Sans and all that crap. Um, but the, the colour coding on here worked really well. Um, so, you know, greens give you an idea of what can happen there. Um, your reds, it's, it's, re it's a really good UI, which creates a, a really good user experience. And as someone who's worked in UI and UX before, it it's a really good way of doing things. Everything kind of drawn to your attention when it needs to be drawn to your attention. And very rarely was I, was I lost. Um, like with all games like this, there was a couple of moments where I had to sort of jump around a couple of menus and go, oh, is that that? But I was like 90% of the time, I was like, oh yeah, I can see that. That's what I've got to do. And then once you clicked it with one, you start to look for that throughout and it just worked really well um, and again i've played other games in this genre where you've done a menu but it's the same color as another menu it's the same color as another menu you're having to really read and you're not drawn to it and on certain systems it can be a pain um, i mean this is on pc only it's early access at the moment but yeah it just works really well a um, couple of little glitches here and there um so you'll notice like when you um, you've got the phone tutorial going and then you bring up certain menus it covers over the tutorial so you can't quite read it properly and it doesn't always disappear so you can check it um so a couple of little bits like that could well be improved but that again it's nitpicking it's nitpicking for the sake of nitpicking really really good game um i recorded some footage for this review but then went back and played it longer um, I will check back in on it on a semi-regular basis, I suppose. Um, but on the whole, yeah, really good. It's, I'm hoping to see this, this become something um, quite interesting. I hope it gets a good audience because so far it's one of the better new age management games that I, I've played. Um, yeah. Um, so question for you guys who are watching um what's your, you got any management games you like that are not one of the the big boys that it's not a, a sim city a city skylines a theme hospital or, or anything like that what's your what's yours that you would recommend let me know in the comments um and yeah but um if you again if you like our videos please do like and subscribe um and until next time goodbye <laughs>